Hello everyone, this is, I believe, part 10 of where I'm teaching you how to make a multiplayer FPS in Unity, and today I'll be showing you how to make this nice, sorted leaderboard based on points or kills or whatever metric you want. This is based on Photon Pun 2, so I'm assuming you already have an FPS game, or in the case that you don't, I have a playlist linked below. So let's, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the UI for it. So if you already have a UI for it, skip ahead. I'll just walk you through what we need. So let's create a canvas. We'll name it leaderboard. And in here, we'll create a panel. Let's just set this to 2D mode. Center this. Let's make the width. 400 and the height uh, 30 remove the backgrounds make it white and add a shadow I think this looks quite nice. Let's, in the canvas, change the sort order to about three. And, and under this panel, let's create a UI text. Let's put this to the right, make it black, a bit smaller. So we'll replace this with the player name eventually. Duplicate this and let's create another one for our score, which we'll put on the right. And let's just put this at zero by default. And let's move this first player up by, let's do 90. And I'm going to duplicate this a few times. This one will be 60. 30. 30. We'll make this one 0. Minus 30. Minus 60. And let's just do one more to make it even. Minus 90. Cool. And let's actually just create an, one final thing, an empty game object. We'll call this players over. And just drag all these in. Just so we can enable and disable this later. Let's add a new component and we'll call this Leaderboard. Oh. Leaderboard. So we're going to need to add a few more things up here. Using system dot. Oh god. System dot. <laughs> system dot link. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure and using photon dot pun. Cool. We're going to add some private variables. First, we're going to make a public game object for the players holder. And then we'll just add some options. public float for our refresh rate. Let's set that to one. And let's add some a header for our UI. So we'll add a list of or an array of game objects called slots.
and a array of text mesh pro UI for our score texts and a text mesh pro UI for our name texts. That should be all the variables. Let me just clean this up real quick. Fantastic. Nice. Um, let's make our start method. So type invoke, oh, invoke repeating, name of, and it wants a function here. So let's create a new public void, refresh, and let's just put this in here without the brackets, type one. And here we're gonna give it our refresh rate. So what this does is every one second, it's going to call this function, which will refresh our leaderboard. Now, obviously you can increase this if you want it to update more faster, but of course it'll be slower and it's probably not necessary. So in our refresh function, we're gonna do for each slot in slots. We're going to do slot dot set active false. Okay, awesome. So first we're gonna type var sorted player list equals, I'll just put brackets from player in photon network dot player list. And this is photons list of players in the current room you're playing in. Order by player dot get score descending select player dot to list. Awesome. So this gets the list of players and using link queue, link, I don't know, um, we're sorting it based on their scores with the highest score at the top and then it descending, obviously. Um, sweet. Okay, we'll do int i equals zero. And we're going to make a for each. So for each variable player in sorted player list, we're going to get slots of index i to be set active true. So here we've disabled all of them and now we're enabling them one by one for the amount of players that there are. And we're going to check uh, if player the nickname is equal to nothing. We're just going to set it to unnamed. Cool. You don't have to do this, by the way. It's just, um, it would look weird if there's just blank spaces in the leaderboard. So we'll just put unnamed there instead, which I think would look nicer. It's what I do in my game, so, you know. Uh, we're going to do string, oh no, we're going to do name texts, i, and we're setting that text equal to player.nickname, and we're going to set score texts, i, dot text, equal to player dot get score dot to stream. Now I'll show you how to add and subtract and reset score later. We'll get to that soon. So let's just keep going. At the end here we'll do i plus plus, which just adds one to i for each um, as we go through this loop. And the last thing we're going to do is we are going to make the leaderboard be able to be toggleable on and on, or only active when you hold tab, which just keeps it out of the way. So let's make a private 
let's just add the update function. And we are going to set players holder that set active input the get key key code dot tab. Awesome. This is just some nice shorthand. And this should be it. Let's just reference everything in the inspector. Let's drag in the players holder. The refresh rate is fine. Let's drag in our slots one by one, making sure to go from the top to bottom. We could do this automatically every time you run the game, but it's probably more efficient to just do it once. Now let's assign the score text. Now, if you do this in the wrong order, then it won't work, so be careful. And you can just double check this by clicking here. Sweet, okay, looks like we have it set up. I'll just disable this by default. And you know what, let's, let's test it real quick. So let me join. And our name isn't set. So let's implement that in our room manager. And in our spawn player function, just after we set the nickname for the third person nickname, Let's add a new line. We'll do photon network dot local player dot nickname equals our nickname, which we set up here from the text field. And make sure to save that. And there we go. The name is set, which is awesome. Cool. Um. Now I'll show you how to set up the score. So in our weapon, let's say you want, I'll show you both. I'll show you how to add score only on kill and then how to add, and then how to add score based on damage. So in your fire function, in, if the hit has the health component, we'll do photon network, local player the add score and we'll just add score for the damage that we just did which is the weapons damage and to only add score when you kill you can add like one score for example for a kill um, you can do if damage is greater than Hit the transform dot game object dot get com dot get components health sorry the health. So if you're doing more damage than that player has health left, make sure to put this uh, before this by the way. Uh, if you're doing more damage than the player has health left, then that's a kill. So you can do. Oh. Sorry. The add score, I don't know, 100. And you know what? We'll keep both. Cool. And obviously, you can have some kind of UI um, to show this. And just for testing, I guess. Um, every time you fire, I'll add one, one point. So we start off at zero. There you go. It takes a bit to update. But we're adding score. So let's I'll just show you what this looks like with multiple players as well. Uh, looks like we made a virus, guys. Cool. They're both on the leaderboard. Now let's say Alex Unity starts shooting around. He's now first on the leaderboard. Um, we shoot Alex one. Yeah, so I hope you found this useful. Um, enjoy. See you in the next one.